Free Solo's climbing star Alex Honnold spoke to Express.co.uk about taking on another seemingly impossible challenge for his new National Geographic docuseries, Arctic Ascent. This time, Alex is joined by fellow climbers Hazel Findlay and Mikey Schaefer to attempt to be the first people in history to summit in Mykortilak, a 4,000-foot sea cliff in Greenland. As well as scaling the never-before-climbed rock face, the world-class adventurers were on a mission to collect vital evidence of rising temperatures in the Arctic Circle to raise awareness of climate change. Despite the conditions on Ingmaikortilak putting off even the most experienced climbers, free solo climber Alex was still tempted to do away with his ropes at some points of the expedition. For much of it, it would be, in some ways simpler and safer and easier to climb by yourself, he claimed. There's issues with rockfall and loose rock and things falling down, and that's the type of train where it would actually maybe be a little bit safer to be by yourself. You just wouldn't be knocking down rocks behind you, because the rope hanging down behind you touches things and knocks things. But, that said, I wouldn't have been able to climb the rest of it. Hazel and I get into this upper head wall that's very difficult climbing. That's the kind of thing where you just need a rope, because any one of the holds that you're grabbing could just break and you'd fall to your death. Don't miss. Doing a ropeless, you'd be taking tremendous risk. Climbers have avoided Ingmaikortilak up until now, but Alex has already looked death in the eye by tackling the 3,000-foot rock wall El Capitan, and described many of the Arctic Sea Cliffs challenges, mundane, by comparison. None of it's really life-threatening, he said. We're trying to manage risk as much as possible, we're trying to stay safe up there. Nobody's trying to do anything reckless. So, really, the risks we were facing were a little bit more mundane. Which was the extreme cold, the unpleasant sensations on your fingers and toes. The cold and the wet, and the general discomfort. So it's not so much that it's incredibly dangerous as much as it's hard living. You wake up in a wet tent, put on all your cold wet clothes and then you ascend this giant wall in terrible conditions. It's pretty grim. Alex's experiences are also guaranteed to give viewers a wake-up call to the climate crisis, as he saw, icebergs the size of cities, break off into the sea. The climber currently has one young child and another on the way with his wife Sani McCandless, who was thrilled to reunite with Alex after his six-week trip on the ice. It was great, to me this expedition was one of my best trips, honestly, he said. In that, we did the things we were trying to do, we had a good time, we made a great film around it. I read a bunch of good books. I felt like it was an incredibly good use of time. So, I think it makes it easier to come back to your family when you can look them in the eye and say, this was the best possible use of my six weeks. I know it was really hard for my wife to be single parenting when I was gone. But at least I can tell her this was the best possible use of my time. If I'm gonna be gone I should be doing something like this. Arctic Ascent with Alex Honnold premieres on National Geographic on Sunday the 4th of February 2024 at 9pm and 10pm and concludes on Sunday the 11th of February at 9pm.